Hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today I want to take a quick look at our newest secondary weapon, the amazing, the beautiful Agbolto Prime. Now, first things first, if you want to get your hands on the Agbolto, the blueprint is a common drop from the Neo M1 relic, the barrel is an uncommon drop from the Lit C2 relic, the link is an uncommon drop from the Lit S7 relic, and the receiver is a rare drop from the Axie A3 relic. The hardest part here is definitely gonna be the receiver, not only because it's rare, but also because these are akimbo pistols, so you need two receivers and two barrels in addition to one blueprint and one link. But trust me when I say that these are very much worth the grind. Now these do require you to be at least mastery rank 13 to use them, unless you buy them with prime access, then they have no mastery requirement whatsoever. They do 32 damage with each shot, 1.3 is slash, 27.5 is puncture and 3.2 is impact and this is less than the Thanos Agbolto and even the original Agbolto. However, they have higher status chance of 14%, a much higher crit chance of 36% and a massive crit multiplier of 280%. They have 40 rounds in the magazine, they are very accurate and they come with 4 polarities, 3 Vs and a dash. Now while these do have lower fire rate than the previous versions of only 7 rounds per second, they can still fire as fast as you can click, especially once you put on some mods, though bear in mind that if you do go full ham and you bind the fire button to like your mouse wheel, you are going to run into some serious ammo issues. Now the build I went for is a 3 forma build where I've added 2 Vs and a D, however I am using a Riven and if I didn't have a Riven I would go for the standard hybrid setup which is this one. This one will actually scale better late, late game, we're talking level 150 or 250 and above. But since I generally don't go over level 100 I went with the Riven setup which is far stronger around sortie level. And the mods are pretty straightforward, we have Hornet Strike for damage, Battle Diffusion for multi-shot, Lethal Torrent for fire rate and multi-shot, Prime Stop Gambit for crit chance, Prime Target Tracker for crit damage, then Pathogen Rounds with Convulsion for a lot of corrosive damage, and finally my Riven, Agbolto Acri Crack, which adds a ton of puncture damage, a lot of crit multiplier, at the cost of doing slightly less damage to the Grenier, which is not a big deal whatsoever, because the weapon does a ton of puncture damage, which is really good versus armor. I played around with a ton of different builds, I tried to squeeze in slightly more stages here and there, increase the crit chance, or increase the crit damage, and stuff like that, and while this one doesn't have the best late late game scaling, as I've mentioned earlier, it is just fine right around sortie level, it just melts enemies and it doesn't matter which faction you're fighting, which I really like, I don't like swapping mods around based on the faction I'm fighting. I will happily sacrifice a little bit of damage if it means I don't have to faff around with mods every time I want to do an alert. The only time I swap my elemental combos around is when I'm fighting the Terrellis, where I switch over to radiation. Speaking of which, the Agbolto Prime is an absolute beast when it comes to taking down the joint on the Terralist, especially if you have a frame that can increase your damage like Raw Rhino. The Terralist just melts. Now I know that some of you may be thinking, well what's the point of showcasing the weapon with a Riven that kind of ruins the whole thing, and don't worry, I did also test the weapon with sort of a budget build, this one right here, which is not using the Riven or any primed mods. And while it's not as strong as the Riven build or the big boy hybrid build, it still does more than enough damage to do sorties for you. It's just gonna take a couple more shots when you run into one of the beefier enemies. But the smaller cannon fodder units like your butchers, your prot crewmen or chargers should go down in one bolt. And speaking about bolts, this may be seen as a bit of a downside for some people because the weapon does fire bolts and the bolts have travel time, so you need to lead the target and the further away the target is, the harder it gets. But then again, the bolts do fly at 75 meters per second, so it's not too bad. And now we come to the conclusion, so what do I actually think about the weapon? Well, I love every little itsy bitsy bit of it. It is absolutely awesome. The weapon is pretty damn strong, so you can easily slap on some quality of life mods and it's not gonna be that big of a deal. It sounds awesome, it has just the right amount of kick, it looks awesome. And it's just fun as hell to use, there is no reason you should not pick this weapon up if you have the opportunity, it is just amazing, it gets a big thumbs up, I love it. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, and I will see you next time, bye bye.